raising awareness still so important and it makes a difference. And just like the case of Rachel, Maxine, a retired teacher, also found her own lump. In the past, I had had a couple of benign cysts and I just assumed this was another benign cyst, so I let it go, obviously, a little too long. One thing I would recommend to, to other women is go, even if there's no history, go and be checked out. It had been several years uh, since I had had uh, a mammo. Maxine had stage four at presentation. We quickly learned that she had metastatic disease. Of course, you hear the word cancer, and should I get all my life in order? I was started on pills first, and then they lost their strength. Last year, she was on IV chemo with unfortunately the same result. But as they say, timing is everything. That was about the same time that a new immunotherapy, Ibrance, uh, was FDA approved and available. It works best in breast cancer and in notably in those that are estrogen driven. So Maxine fits the bill. These are basically a collection of targeted antibodies or inhibitors. There's no doubt that this is the decade of immune therapy. What's the best thing for my individual patient? And what's the best thing for that individual cancer cell? That's what immune therapy is going to give us. We have mechanisms, you and I, to put the brakes on. But cancer cells often have their brakes malfunction. Ibrance is a drug that inhibits that gas pedal. So it puts the brakes on and stops the cell from growing. I think I'm doing pretty well. You know, I have some side effects, but uh, I think it's a lot easier than regular, the IV chemo. I'm very grateful that not only is the FDA retaining all of their safety parameters, but they're allowing drugs to be fast-tracked. I mean, look at Maxine. Now we're in our 11th month, and every time I see her, her tumor is smaller. I said to Dr. Garen, I'm here, so just bring it on. If this uh, doesn't work, then we'll go on to something else. And I think the way science is today, they will find something else, so I'm very hopeful. A great spirit and the even greater promise of immunotherapy. We'll be right back with a brave transgender survivor who wants medical professionals to educate his community on the importance of testing.